welcome to my channel. Today I have a card for you. And as you can see, it's a rather large card. It's actually an A4 card, meaning that it's eight and a quarter by a four, eleven and three quarters. And I decided to make this this size because I wanted to use this pop-up element. And I needed that in order to keep this full functionality without the the trees actually protruding from the sides. So, it's also made for a very special lady indeed, and I hope she enjoys it. The trees that I use for this have been adapted from a free Brother cutting file, which is available on Brother's canvas workspace. Now if you'd like to learn how I made this card and perhaps you'd like to give it a try yourself then stick with me and I'll show you how. I'm going to start with the up mechanism here and for that I've got a piece of cardstock this is the American Craft cardstock and it measures 11 and a half by 8 and 1 eighth and all I'm going to do here is just fold it like that in half Actually, I'm going to get the other bone folder over and do it again. And then we need to do some cutting. Let's take the cardstock for the mechanism and with the fold facing towards me, I'm now going to use my mat to help line this up. It's going to come in two inches from either side and I'm going to come up from there half an inch. Then I'm going to come over one inch and go up half an inch. Now I'm going to do the same on this end. So I'm going to line that up with a one inch square there, come over two inches, and come up half an inch, come over one inch, and again half an inch. Hopefully you can see those lines there. So now I'm going to cut up those score lines or those um, pencil marks I should say. Just going to cut them like that and there. This is going to make the pop-up element. Okay, now I'm just going to fold that back like that. You could put it back in the scoreboard if you wanted to, but this cardstock is soft enough that I can actually bend that over without too much problem. So I'm just going to fold that there and now open it and push those cuts forward and then Close it again, go back to your bone folder, and give that a nice sharp crease. And there is a pop up. I also want to round the corners for this. It's just a matter of preference, you don't have to do this. 
you don't have to make it this size, you could make it any size you want. Just to be sure that whatever elements you put in for your pop-up, that they do not extend past the edge here. Alright, so we've got that. And I've also gone ahead and cut this piece here that is going to go on the top portion of this pop-up. And this measures 8 inches by 5 and 7 eighths. And we can round two of the corners as well. And that is going to get glued to the front of that. I'm going to round that corner again. Move off a bit. Better. Right. Now I'm going to get my glue out and I'll place that there before we start putting our other pieces on. I have a piece of cardstock which I've cut out in this shape and I've got a sediment that I've already stamped out. I'm going to place that in the center of that cardstock and affix it to this piece. In the pieces that I've already cut on my scan and cut, and these are from the Brother Canvas workspace. These are from a free file that Brother provides, and I've resized it to a smaller size that will fit within this card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue two of them together for extra strength. I've got a little piece here that needs to come out. That. And I'm going to do that now. are done now and where we're going to attach these trees are to these pop-up elements here but I've got a few more things I'd like to do to them before I actually put them in place as well as decorating in the background. The thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some little birds flying very naive, just the impression that there are birds flying in the sky. Sentiment dye, which is from Tarted Lace, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to double this up and put just a bit of glue around it. And what I can do is put it on my because I know that I'm not sensitive to this. If you are sensitive to any adhesive, I would not suggest that. But I'm fine. And now I'm going to just double that up. Gives it a bit of dimension. And then I'll put this down as well. The trees I also have these little birds, which fit in here, like this, there's one there. 
there and this one here as well and then the last one fits in here so I'm going to get those in place and then I'll be right back glue the trees in place now and before I do I'm just going to test that they're not going to go beyond this edge if they do I could just trim some of the leaves there but I think this is going to be just fine so I'm going to go back to my cloud glue now to put the adhesive into the back of into here. Back to the cloud glue. I'm going to put the adhesive on this mechanism here. Leaves. And we'll take the tree and simply hold it down into place. Going to let these hook together as well. Give that a moment. I have this bit of fencing here. What I'm going to do is just score along the quarter inch mark here and I'll trim this to size once I determine where I want this to be placed. So I'll go ahead and pull that up and burnish it. And then I can cut it. What I'm going to do is I want this to attach to the tree and I also want to have it come in on the edge, so camera. I made a few changes here. This was just not working out with the fencing coming all the way across because it was pulling too much and it just would not adhere. So what I've done instead is I've repaired some of the damage that was caused when I took that fencing off and now I just cut it and glued it to the front of the trees and I think that looks fine. Also I'm going to add some faux stitching around this sentiment here and I'm just going to make little dots all around this outer portion. I looked through my die cuts and I selected a few pieces here. Some of these leaves and these 
buttons and I'm going to arrange them using the button as a base to attach them to just a, a little corner piece Right, I think that's it for the insert. So now I'm going to make the card length itself, and I've got for that an A4 sheet of paper, which again, I'm just going to use my scoreboard. Let me push it into place here. Hold and burnish that. And I'm also going to round the corners. Maybe rounding the corners here and here, of course, here and here as well. I've cut a frame out of this black cardstock as a mat and the round edge of the corners and then the waste from that I can use for something else. Taking out the center of that cardstock not only saves on your card, but also can help to reduce the weight of the card, especially when you get many layers to the card base. I've got this piece that has been cut at five and five eighths by eight inches. And around those two corners again. This will show just a hint of that black mat, which is exactly what I wanted. And for whom I'm making this card, will most likely understand the significance of this topper. It's something that's actually been in my stash for quite a while. I made it long ago on my scanning cut from a free file from Monica's creative room and I think it's absolutely lovely and it's the perfect time to use it. So that's going to go there. And I also have this little sentiment here which I'm going to put on there. To also put this little pearl here in the corner and a dab of this glue and that should do it. inside and complete this pop-up card. To do this, just need to apply our glue around this side of the pop-up. And what we'll do is we'll close it up and secure it in place then it will be in the perfect place 
to complete the other side. Just cinch that onto the card and then give it a bit of a rub. Let's turn this side over. Another thing that I noticed when I started to open and close the card was that the paper which I had originally used, and you can see here <laughs> where I've actually torn it off, was beginning to buckle it's because it's really more of a copier weight so I replaced it with this card and not only did it have the clouds that I wanted but it already had the birds as well so it was quite fortunate and I was also able to salvage the sentiment so I'm very happy with that and it's even more solid than it was before so take a look again at the card and when we open it up our trees pop up and I've also hooked them so that they also stay together like that the little bird over here I'm quite pleased with that. It, it had its problems and I was pretty much learning on the fly but I think I came up with some good solutions and I'm certain that the person that this is intended for will forgive me for any um, little imperfections. She's a very very special person to me and I made this with her especially in mind. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this, even with all the uh, mistakes and all the last minute changes. I hope you still enjoyed it. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take this opportunity now to subscribe today. Share with your friends, leave a comment, and a thumbs up if you liked it. In the meantime, please stay safe and crafty hugs. Bye.